Hello everyone and welcome to my live stream on YouTube tonight. Uh, well, I had planned to start at 8, but uh, some technical technical issues amongst others uh, prevented that. Sorry about it. So now, finally, we are ready to start. Yeah, there was a, a new page to load with this program and I uh, we didn't really know how to do it. So now it's... Uh, it's done. It's done, finally. So we're gonna start and, uh, well, hopefully you will, uh, you have not given up hope and you have, you are staying and you have stayed here. So tonight is Banter Blitz. It's my first time, I mean, not to play Blitz on the internet, even though I haven't really done it in the past few years. I have given up all these um, addictions to play Blitz online because I, I don't uh, really... Um, well, it's not that I don't enjoy it, but it's addictive and it takes time uh, and it's not really productive in terms of chess training, in my view. But Banter Blitz is something else, I think. So I'm going to play Blitz online. Um, well, I have registered on chess.com. I played a few training games there just to uh, get the hang of, uh, of it and see how the site is working. Not that I, um, you know, suddenly don't know how it works. And um, yeah, I have now... Um, so uh, yeah, hello Nicolas, uh, hello Christian, hello Ankar, and uh, yeah, for the moment the three of you are here. Uh, let's hope some regulars will arrive as well. So um, here we are. I guess it should be it's lost, which is not good. All right. Uh, hopefully it's okay now. Um, it's not the first time that we have problems with the uh, connection on this program. I hope it's uh, gonna be okay. I hope it's not going to be a bad uh, night today. So here we are actually and um, on chess.com I can see the um, I can see the uh, image is not great uh, on the screen so I hope everything is gonna be okay. Um, connection is bad for some reasons I don't know why so if you guys are on chess.com and if you have an account you can challenge me uh, hopefully I'll see that on the site and I'll be able to uh, play some um, some blitz with you perhaps uh, well I'll start by um, you know warming up and and play a blitz game so I hope you will see everything there and um, yeah, it's my, my first time Banter Blitz, so I, I guess I have to commentate during play, so it's not something I'm used to. Um, I used to commentate, but on other people's games, not mine, not live. So uh, yeah, let's start and we'll see, and then I'll see, uh, well, we'll check the chat at some point. So I, I'm going to send a challenge in the three minute poll, uh, what else is there? One minute is a bit too little, I could make three plus two. Well, let's start with a three minute game. and. Let's go and see who is coming. Here I have an opponent, a Russian opponent, Lex22. My rating is not very high, but, um, well, it's probably what I deserved to be. I'm pretty slow, so, um, yeah, that's what you will see, actually. I'm really slow in general, especially in the end. And so we're going to play some Karakan Panov here against the Russian guy. And I'm going to play this Bishop E6, which I have uh, studied at some point c5, g6 I think is the right move, bishop g7, and bishop d7. So uh, I don't really mind giving up the pair of bishops. Here a castle, rook e1, okay, I think I'm gonna force matters a little bit here. He goes away. Well, maybe now I'm gonna try and keep, well, not keep my bishop, but exchange it under good circumstances or better ones. All right. Let's see. Well, I'm gonna ask a question to this bishop and see what he does. Maybe g5. And now everything is turning around square e5 or oh, here I, I see I have blundered an exchange 
already but maybe it's not that a problem because I hope I might be able to uh, well that's warming up let's say I might have some counterplay against um, his pawn on d4 well I have, I have to watch for time that's the main problem here position is the position isn't great but time is going to be even more of a problem okay let's go for e5 here we go I'm not very proud of my play so far. Here he's threatening some some things. Okay, let's just go uh, away here to g6. I'll have to reorganize my pieces, of course. It's not really really good here. Well, now I'm gonna force him to take. At some point, this is, of course, an unpleasant surprise. Okay, let's keep some pieces. So now I have to consolidate. Not an easy thing in this position. I have a bad position, I have bad time. It's not great. Queen e2. Let's go here. So now, if I could get knight e7, would be good. I can get it, but it's not good anyway. So he wants to exchange... Okay, that could be a little chance for me, because now it looks like I'm winning the pawn on c5, which is definitely good news here. I'm not winning the pawn on c5, okay. That's it. That's how my tactical skills are nowadays. Okay, A4. Oh, it could be worse. We've seen worse. Um, D4 doesn't look too bad here. I'm threatening actually a little something, I believe. Maybe I should... Um, well, I can play this. Looks good now. You can play this. No, I won't take. I'll play knight g6. Now I have to be fast. to be fast and furious. Okay, I'm gonna offer a draw. I'm very kind. Could be a draw. Okay, he's playing for time. That's good news. Or bad, maybe. Okay, I have to play fast.
Hmm, I won. Well, not a great start in here. So, uh, well. I can feel, you know, the heat coming. So, uh, let's check what you have to say in the chat about this beautiful game here. Uh, ta -ta -ta. Hello, 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 hello everyone. Sorry that I am so late again. So you can't watch, okay. Oh, my username is, is Yannick Peltier. I hope, I hope that the um, quality will ex uh, improve. Uh, is it still bad stream health? Uh, you can see. So my, my nickname on chess.com is simply Yannick Peltier. I have a Luxembourgish flag instead of a Swiss flag because here I live in Luxembourg instead of Switzerland. Um, so my username, I, I'm gonna type it. Here it is. Sorry, I'm I'm new to this. Um, oh, okay. I can see Noah. Noah already th uh, did it. Thanks a lot. Um, yeah, Bishop. It's free. actually at that point Omkar to answer your very aggressive ideas of bishop h3 and knight f4. I think in that position being an exchange down for maybe just a f small compensation in terms of control. Uh, I mean, it's, uh, it's not about mating, it's about saving my skin. And um, well, actually, I'm not gonna, going to analyze it, but uh, if we go back to this position, I think, think started to improve when he exchanged queens. That was, I think, not a very good move. He could have gone to a6, maybe with the queen. So I'm reconnected. Sorry, sorry guys, again, I don't know what's happening tonight. So um, I hope it's not going to be like this the whole evening. Um, yeah, it's working again, sorry guys. Don't know if it's my internet connection or just the program which is making problems. So we are playing Champis from Switzerland. So hello. Sorry if uh, if we have some delay. So. Here we are. So let's play some Tarash French and we might have an isolated pawn position whenever my opponent is going to take on c5 or maybe well, we'll see. Yes, that's happened. I'm taking back there. And when we have this position, actually, it's very important for black if he can develop his knight to f6 without concessions, like a check on the e-file. So here it's actually quite okay for me. Um, knight d4, I'm going to castle, and I think I've had such a game before, more or less like this. <coughs> three, yeah, I'm actually spending a lot of time on that. So, bishop h5. I have no idea why tonight, especially tonight, it's lagging. Well, if you can listen to what I'm saying, uh, I was saying that my position is very decent in this isolated pawn positions. Uh, I'm gonna play bishop c7. It's not, uh, maybe not a great move here. Well, I, I wanna get queen d6 in, if possible. For this, I need a6 first. Mm. We'll see. We'll see. I might lose on time because of my lag. Okay, here we are again. So I'm happy I could take on, on c6 with a pawn. Now I improved my position. And I can take on e2, but perhaps I don't want to exchange too many pieces. Although, wouldn't be too bad maybe. 
I want to get queen d6 in, but for the moment he can take my bishop and I'm not mating him, so I'm just going to play bishop g6 and now knight takes c6 is not possible because I'm going to get queen d6 and threatening mate, threatening to take back the knight. So bishop f3 is a good move. I play queen d6 and I'm going to see how is he going to react. Can I take now on g3? I'm very tempted. If I take on g3, takes takes, then I'm getting a third pawn. So that looks good and it's fun. Okay, let's do it. Let's do it. Well, I'm, a, I'm ahead on time. That's something I quite enjoy. And now let's if I have something. Well, I'm lagging again. Sorry. Sorry to my opponent as well. It's, uh, it's very annoying from for you as well if I if I like like this uh, on my back so I took the pawn and I hope if I'm not losing on time I'm gonna mate him this queen h2 pre move and queen f2 mate well sorry about the lag it must have been very very unpleasant I think um, I think it was decent, but I got some activity when I took. So um, I'm going to play a rematch against uh, Shumpy. And then if you are here, by the way, watching the live, just uh, let us know. And um, we're going to discuss the games or in the chat, maybe. I'm going to play a rematch and, um, and then change your opponents because I think you guys want to play for perhaps against me and see how we're going to fare. So knight f3, let's see how it's going now. I hope my uh, lack will be fixed soon. <sighs> oh, that was you, Noah. Now I can see. I, I kind of guessed when you now played the Volga that you might be Mr. Shumpy. Okay, let's play knight bd2. E4. So, to those of you who don't know it, Noah is actually a pupil of mine. Um, I'm actually training three juniors in Switzerland, and Noah is definitely one of the most promising juniors in Switzerland. So, I'm going to play this little rook a3 here. I had a very similar um, idea of the rook a3, which is not mine at all against uh, Pia Kramling back in 1994 in Beale. So the idea of rook a3 is that I'm going to take back here on, um, on b5 with, then, with a pawn. So the rook is protected. Here I just go back and see what happens. I want to get my knight to c4 one day. That would be nice. For the moment it's not easy to, to make while the knight is on e5. So let's see how I'm gonna how we're gonna do this. So if I go back with the knight f3, I'm gonna threaten f4. Could be an idea. Could be a good idea, in fact. Well let's try that. It's not so bad. Uh, well f4 is a threat and he can play things like g5. It's not too bad, maybe. Um, G5 and F5. F5 looks like a very decent reaction. Okay, let's play F4. That was my idea. Let's do it. Um, I'd like to have knight there. Could be nice. Okay, let's just play knight, bishop F3. I don't like my knight on E1. I don't like s several things about my position. But um, we'll see. We will see. Knight f6. Alright, now I'm gonna take this. And I'm gonna play knight c4. Now I got knight c4 and that makes me quite happy. I have my knight well placed on c4. Now I have control. d5 is well protected. So here I'm gonna pre-move b takes a3. Well, I don't have to pre-move. I won't do it. Well, actually, Noah, my opponent here, managed to beat Peter Swidler in a, in a banter blitz some weeks ago. Uh, so um, 
All right, now you want to attack this, but you are not threatening to take on d5 yet because I have knight b6. Uh, maybe I don't have knight b6 so easily, so I'm afraid I have to play knight e3. Not the greatest move ever. And I'm lagging again, sorry. I'm lagging. It's not nice. F5 is hanging. That's my... Alright. Um, F5 is hanging. Did I say F5 is hanging? I said F5 is hanging. So I take it. He cannot take on D5 yet. But I still have to make sure that I, I'm gonna get something. I can take the bishop next. That would be nice too. <clears throat> I still don't like my knight on E1. It's not doing well. But for the moment I'm two pawns up. So it's... Um, something to be happy about. Um, Alright, um, if this I'm gonna mate, am I mating? Am I mating? Could be. Let's play bishop b2. We'll see what happens. So if he takes on d5 with the knight, then I'm gonna take it with my bishop. And then, if my bishop is not there anymore, I have queen g4, that's my idea. If he takes with a bishop on d5, well now I have ideas. I can take, but then he, take with the, he takes with the queen. This I don't want to allow. So I take on f6 here. He has to take on f3. And then I have ideas like... I want to have nice ideas. So I'm going to play this. What about time? Time doesn't look too bad for once. Let's check. And let's play queen g4. I'm threatening mate and makes me happy again. But it's not a forced mate. He can play knight h6. Yep. Um, it's not well. It's not yet mate. Do any of you, does any of you see a mate here? I'm not seeing a forced mate. So I'm gonna play, uh, no, that's not gonna be good. I have to play faster, so I'm gonna play rook, a uh, queen h5. Pre-moving this. I thought here, oh, he's threatening something. That's uh, not something I enjoy when people st start threatening me. Oh, I blundered. I blundered. Okay, I have to go back and do it quickly. Here. Okay, I have to play fast. Okay, I won on time. It was not glorious, but basically the game was not too bad. Uh, the end was uh, a nerve-wracking. Sorry. Uh, yeah, I can play actually any any um, time control. Well, not too, not too long, but five minutes is certainly nice. Or th two is nice. So thank you, Noah. I think in that game, um, yeah, the rook a3 plan is pretty annoying because maybe black is not uh, capable of uh, getting his usual counterplay and then uh, well it looked quite quite good for white but then you know it's it's a volga it's a volga gambit and at some point black is gonna get some play so one has to be very careful in tactics so i can see i'm lagging by about a minute so um not very nice um so uh yeah let's let's see challenges where are are they Let's say if there are open challenges, no, okay. So um, I'm open to challenges by you guys online. Um, anyone? Hello, Nicolas Raffaelli. Yeah, five minutes maybe. Three minutes is fun, one minute is too, too short. Basically when we, actually we can speak about, um, you know, online blitz and um, can be it can be fun it can be useful if you limit the time um, I think usually you shouldn't play more than half an hour maybe 40 40 minutes per day uh, sessions of three minute blitz games maybe with increment can be can be good um, yeah my student uh, plays the Volga that was before I started. <laughs> now we are switching a bit, but I actually I, I, I told Noah that he should then stop with the Volga. He should keep it. It's it's an aggressive opening. Uh, it can't be a surprise weapon. Uh, you know, his opponents will start noticing that he's changing, that he doesn't 
play the Volga anymore. So keeping it as a surprise weapon is something which is important to do. Um, especially um, the Volga is a fun opening. You um, you have fun while, while playing the Volga and that's very important. When you play chess you have you need to have fun. It's not just about results, it, it's not just about uh, playing you know for a solid position, you also need to have fun. So anyone wishing to challenge me, there was Taraf, Mr. Taraf Taraf uh, before. If you're still there, I'm open to challenges. I don't know, I tried to accept that challenge before but it, it didn't um, accept the challenge, so for some reason I couldn't make it. Um, so I hope I'm open to challenges and uh, that it works. If it's not the case, um, so I'm gonna see what to do here because the the program told me I was not. I thought I was a premium member as a GM, but it doesn't seem to be the case. So um, something I'll have to fix with the. Um, Administrator is here. I don't really know why it will, doesn't work. So I can't see Taraf Taraf again. Here we are. Open challenges. No, that's not what I wanted to do. Uh, custom challenge. No, that's not what I wanted to do. I'm I'm pretty new on Chess.com, so um, really I I don't know. So if you guys have an account there, just don't hesitate. I can see the, the image the, is much better now. Uh, that's something I like. So um, I can see Taraf Taraf. Okay, can I challenge you, Taraf Taraf? I don't know how. Let's say, let's see, challenge. Three minutes. Okay, I sent you a challenge as before. Ah, you declined my challenge. Perhaps something is wrong with the... Um... Uh -huh. All right, accept. Yes, we are. Here we are. Oh, that's someone else. Okay, Arlan, hello. Is it perhaps Nicolas Delay? We'll see. Um, knight f3. E5. Oh, that's 5 plus 2. Good. Knight f3, you sacrifice a pawn with e5. I'm gonna take it. I'm gonna take it. f6. So that's not a, um, an opening I would actually advise you to play because first of all you gave me a pawn. Well, in Blitz, who knows, it could be playable. But then f6, f6, you weaken your king and um, well I'm gonna try and benefit from this weakening if I can try and get bishop c4 then you might have problems castling later on could be something interesting here yeah after f6 e4 so Noah is ahead of his game. He sees everything online on chess.com before you can see that in the in the um, on your screen. Bishop c4 is what I decided to do. Well, let's castle. This can always be useful to get the the king out of. Um, well, Bishop g4. That's right. I should have played d4. The move before. Well, let's play knight c3. Let's see how it's going. There is no uh, legal mate. This famous legal mate. You don't legal legal. I don't know. Oh, I'm tempted to take. I'm tempted, but it wouldn't work. It wouldn't work, but it's interesting. I can take with the knight, you take my queen, I would play bishop f7, unfortunately is no mate. So knight f7, you would go with the queen, and then I can take, well, okay, let's, let's try and do it. It's not the best move, but let's try and do it. And knight f7, I want to take your queen, will you give it to me? 
If you move your queen, I'm going to take your bishop on d1. I'm going to be two pieces for the queen and the rook will be hanging here on h8. I'm already a pawn for... Um, oh, so you play this. And if I take it like this, simply, I could have taken your queen, but let's say I'm not interested. And um, actually, the, the, the queen sacrifice is probably very correct here. And um, queen d7. All right. I can take your rook. I think that's what I'm going to do. Let's take your rook. And I mean, yeah, the question is whether my knight is going to escape somehow from the corner. Can go back to f7 next, perhaps. Oh, I certainly want to play d4 very soon. Perhaps I'm going to do it now. <coughs> knight h6. So this knight can be taken here. I'm going to do this. Bishop takes h6. And next, I might go out with the with my knight. I can take your bishop, but I want to go out with my knight to f7. So what's the what's the score now? I am a rook and two pieces for the queen. That's that's quite nice. I'm happy. I'm happy about it. And um, so here you go. You want to play queen g4 very soon. I can see that. I can see your idea. When that, let's see, can I perhaps play knight f4 here? Beware, I might want to win your queen. I might win your queen with bishop, oh yes, bishop e6 was my threat here. A very nasty threat. Ah, yeah. Now I've won back the queen. And I am a rook and a piece up. Which is, um, which is not so bad. <laughs> I'm not going to accept this draw here. Sorry about this. I'm going to decline it. Um, not here. Yes, yes, yes. Ah, so that was five minutes plus, plus five seconds. So yeah, no, f6, you shouldn't play these moves. I mean, you can sacrifice a pawn perhaps in the opening, but f6, no, it's, it, it weakens the king too much. Um, I managed to put my bishop on the diagonal and then your king is in dire straits. My queen sacrifice was not necessary. Well, I accept uh, challenges, of course. Uh, now let's see here what we have. Open challenges. Um, how did I find it before? Challenges, no. Aha, friends. So something with friends. So, taraf, taraf. Um, And now we have a challenge from uh, Christian Terra, aka Terra K C H. Where have you gone? Uh, where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? I can't see you. I should have Terra K. Can you perhaps challenge me again? Uh, you have disappeared. You have disappeared. Um, I can't see your... For some reasons, challenges disappear pretty quickly. Um. Aha, here we are. I can 
Yes, 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 yes. I here we are. So Christian Terra from Switzerland. He's a dangerous blitz player, a dangerous player in general, rated around 21, 2200. So it's not gonna be easy. D4 E6, let's see how it's going now. Here we are, we going. Um, I hope I'm not gonna lag too much again, but in the last game it was much better, I think. So here we go. I need to get the hang of this uh, site, but for some reason Christian has disappeared. Maybe we should abort and, um, and start again. Here D4, D6. Aha. Okay, so you have taken a minute to react. I'm gonna... I'm gonna suggest that we start again, maybe. Or or shall I also think for a long time until I play? Because otherwise I'm gaining a minute ahead. That wouldn't be very fair. So let's wait. So D4, E6, Knight, F3. What is your idea? Do you want to play C4 next move? Or do you want to play... Um, Bishop g5, bishop f4, London system. I do not know. Will, um, yes. So here we are. Let's play c5. So I hope we can play now. Two minutes blitz game. d4, e3. Okay, knight f6. Now we can go for it. Why do I win by res resignation? Okay, rematch. Now we can do it and start from scratch. Okay, I'm gonna play the same moves as you. D4, knight, f3. G6, okay, bishop, g5. Let's go for that. The torre, is it torre or kind of London system. So e4 is tempting, but I know it's not the most accurate. We have to play c3 or e3 first. d6, e4. <clears throat> well, for those of you who are following me on YouTube, you certainly have seen that I am have started a series which is called Crush the King's Indian. Well, it's not with knight f3, bishop g5, and f and c3 that we crush the king's indian no 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 not at all but i like to play the london system from time to time london or whatever it's called uh c5 i'm gonna take it immediately here perhaps let's see if you take back with a knight or with a pawn if you take with the pawn I, ah hi you take with the knight so the question is how do i protect e4 now Queen e2, I'd like to have rook e1 already. That's probably why the, the move I played was not great. Well, let's play queen e2. Queen e2. So we've spent about 40, 40 seconds each. Bishop e6, all right. I don't want to take it, um, but maybe I will anyway. You want to go to f4. Could be good. Mm, so my pieces are not well placed. I'm warning you guys, my pieces are not well placed. I take on f6. I need a knight on d5. Not sure I can get that soon. I didn't want to allow knight f4, g5, knight g4, so I, I exchange this, this annoying knight on f6. And I hope that I'm soon going to be able to relocate this knight this square, that's my plan. I'm warning you. Oh, you're inviting me. Thank you. I accept the invitation. Okay, now I have to pay attention. I can see you want to mate me somehow. I'm not gonna let you. Now beware, your queen may be hit at some point. I'm not sure I'm threatening g4. No, I'm not. I'm not threatening g4. 
I have to take some measures because you might want to tease me on G2. So I'll have to play some good moves. Well, I said that Christian is very dangerous. That's a check. I'm not taking it. I'm moving here. I quite like to see that check because your knight is not doing too much on h3. And um, so now things are getting... Um, if I take you, you want to take with the, um, with the pawn? Maybe you want to take with the pawn, actually. But the problem is I don't really have a choice, so I take it. So if you take with the pawn, oh, I'm gonna get h3, I'm gonna get um, g4, and actually I could even dream of exchanging queens at some points. At some point. Yeah, I can see you want to mate me. Don't hide it. You want to mate me. How dare you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can see that. Let's try and control some squares here. Well, I can't say I, I really like my position. That would be a uh, something um, untrue. Yeah, f5, exactly the move I was afraid of. So now I'm afraid I have to take it. I have to be very careful here. Very careful. Really, really. Mm, okay, let's play rook e8. Rook a e1. Well, if I'm not gonna get, if I'm not getting mated, I'm doing well. That's that's true. But I could get mated. That's the problem of my position. Rook h8. So that's a check. I'm giving you a check. Uh, how are we gonna do it now? Now I'm happy. You gave me that pawn on f5, and it looks like I'm winning, more or less. King f7, so um, let's play rook e4. What's the time? The time is crucial, of course, in blitz. <clears throat> Queen to g6 back. All right, let's play knight e3. Rook h4, knight g4, and I won on time. I think my position is good in the end, but it was a, a bit dangerous. If you don't give up, um, if you don't give up this pawn here, in this position, if you don't play rook h8, okay, f4, uh, g4 is something interesting. G4, can I play it? Yeah, I can play it. G4 takes, takes, I want to play queen e2. And I'm pinning you here. That's maybe something I, I thought could be good. Or um, maybe e6, simply. Well, then I can perhaps try to play knight c4. But somehow I'm always scared of g4 here. Well, I can play f4, it's true, but... I could um, could get mated. It's especially dangerous in blitz. So um, yeah, trying to analyze that game a little bit. You shouldn't. One shouldn't analyze blitz games usually. But um, well, here we can make exceptions. Here might be able to repel the attack somehow. I mean, this check has to be. Um, Checked, but I think I can perhaps take even. Take, take. I'm gonna be okay, I believe. And if I don't want to allow this, uh, instead of taking the bishop, I can play g3. That's, that's a nice move. Closing lines against my king. The bishop is threatened now. If you go to e6, I take here, probably. This position looks good for me. <coughs> Somehow it looks good. So, so Omkar is challenging me, but who are you, 
on car. I can see you. For the moment, I can see Champy again and Arlan again. Uh, what's your What's your handle, uh, Omkar, on uh, chess.com? What's your... Uh... I'm gonna write it in the chat. Omkar. Just so that we can uh, do it. So Champy is still challenging me. Um, was it Arlan? Or I thought Arlan was Nicolas Dili or Dili. Yeah, 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 yeah. That was you. So Omkar, if you want to challenge me, do it because I, I see only two challenges so far by um, by Noah and by. Um, Nicholas, so I'm gonna give a revenge to to Arlan first, and then we'll see. So Arlan is white now. Don't touch the f pawn, okay? Do not touch the f pawn. Let's play a Sicilian. Let's play a Sicilian. Do not touch the f pawn, please. Knight f3. Well done. E6. Let's see if I can get my uh, Taimanov or Paulson in a position. Try that. D4. I'm taking it. Should I play A6 or should I play Knight C6? All right, I'm going to play Knight C6. <coughs> I got some cold recently, so. Um, you should pardon me for coughing and sneezing. Bishop b5, that's unusual. That's pretty unusual. The bishop is not doing, usually not doing a great, great job there. Well, let's see where you're going to go. Well, oh no, let's, let's play knight e7. Play a seven, and then a six. Want to take on c six? Take back with a with a piece. Not a very conventional way to play. So I can play a six, or I can take first as well. Oh, let's play a six. I'm gonna take back with the knight. Here we are. And what do we have? We have some kind of Sicilian with bishop b5. Well, maybe we transposed to something normal. Actually, if you play rook e1 and I play bishop e7, or you decide to take here. Okay, I'm gonna take with a d-pawn. And um, let's see. I guess your move should be f4 now. I said never touch the I said never touch the f pawn, but that would have been the moment. So if I play e5, you have knight a4. That's true. But it doesn't really matter, I think. Well, knight a4. Well, not my cup of tea. So let's play b5. Let's play b5 and a4, f4 is is actually a good move here for you. Oh, b4, what is this? You're giving me a pawn. You're giving me a pawn and if I take it, you might want to play queen d4 and then take on g7. Maybe I have a nice reply to queen d4. We'll see. Queen d4, I want to play bishop d6. And queen takes g7 will be met by bishop e5. It would be nice for me. Oh yeah, so here we go for it. Bishop d6. <coughs> bishop d6 and if you take on g7, I'm gonna play bishop e5. First I'm gonna take 
Oh, you're playing e5, so you're giving me the pawn. You have to be careful with your pawns. Very careful with your pawns. Because I'm a pawn snatcher, you should know that. I do snatch pawns when given, when being offered. I take them. Chakra de oh oh. Okay, I'm gonna see if we can play after that game. Omkar. Bishop if. Yeah, okay, I take the queen. You take. I take the, the knight. I have won a piece. I have won a piece. I'm quite happy about that. So basically, my position should be winning now. Piece up, pawn up. No real attack for uh, for white. You have to be careful with your pieces and your pawns. That's the um, advice I can give. Don't move the f pawn too early, and be careful with your um, pieces. Chakra Deo challenges me. I accept the challenge. Here we go. Here we go, let's play d4. d4, d5, knight, oh, knight of no. let's play c4. Let's play a normal game. I hope I'm not going to lag. A Slav, okay, A Slav, um, Let's let's do it knight of three. Knight of six, all right, and um, knight c three. So we're playing five minutes without second, right? No, no increment. All right, a four. We are going to enter main lines. Oh, knight a six. Yeah, that's actually dismissal of line but let's play it a man's way with e4 e3 is possible as well bishop g4 and now bishop takes c4 ah you just play e6 so i'm gonna go bishop e3 so that now if you take on f3 i am capable of taking back with a queen that would have, wouldn't have been possible the previous move but that's okay well thank you nicholas Thank you. Castle. So I have a pawn center. I have a space advantage. Let's see after h3 if uh, black is going to take or, he, or if he's going to move it back to h5. Generally in these positions white is, you know, is slightly better. I shouldn't take on, on a6. I could have taken many times on a6. I shouldn't do it. Uh, the pawn takes back and uh, I'm giving uh, the two bishops, I'm giving a free b-file against my b-pawn, so taking on a6 is never really an issue. This and now I could play rook c1 or perhaps queen e2 is a good move. I have to prevent knight c2. <clears throat> and my plan is quite clear. a5, that's a good move. You secure a knight, you secure a beautiful square on b4. This square on b4 is actually your main trump in this position. Um, you lack space, I have two bishops, you need to do something about this square on b4. That's your um, main strength here. I'm gonna play f4. I'm gonna play f4. So, what is it? What do we have in this position? I need to try and, and launch an attack. Can I do this? I'd be able, I'd like to be able to play e4, uh, sorry, e4, e5. But here you have e5 yourself and that's not something I want to let you get. So, um, I could move my king to f1. I could, I could, I could. I have to make sure that d5 doesn't really work for you. 
Okay, let's play g4. Let's try and attack. Maybe g5 is my next move. I wanna, I wanna be able to play f5 at some point. That would be my, um, my dream. I'm not doing well on time. Okay, I, now I see. The main idea of g4 is not to play g5, but actually to play queen h2 followed by f5. That would be a nice idea to keep full control on the position. Um, well, black has to react at some point. So e5, well, and c5 is the way to react. You are absolutely right. That's the best move in this position. Of course, taking here is not really what I want to do. Playing knight b5 first, where do you go? You're going to go to b6. It's not nice. And if I play, if I play d5, you might even have some ideas. I'm not sure what I should do. d5 is obvious, but it might not be so good. g5 first. I think that's the move. g5 first. Take, I take, you play this, I can go here. All right, let's try g5. I didn't want to play d5 immediately because of knight takes e4, knight takes e4 and, and this. So now, now I play d5. Let's hope it works well for me. Well, I think I'm doing well, but it's still messy. It's still pretty messy. And uh, I actually blundered bishop g5, but I could play. Um, if you do it, I have um, d6. So now, what is it? What is going on here? If I take with a piece, I'm doing well, but uh, could be actually a draw. No, I should take with a bishop. And um, my time is not doing well. 145 against 230. Yeah, bishop takes g5 is something I was a bit uh, scared about here. But I think I have tricks. I hope I have tricks. If I don't, it doesn't look good. Well, I have to try it. Knight b5 first. So if I take, of course, on g5, you have queen g3, and it might not be so great. Although I have tricks, I have to, you have to be wary. I have tricks, but I can't make them work too well. So um, the move I should play here is linked to some trick on h7. Okay, let's play queen g4. So, what do we have? I blundered many things, but... And I have little, very little time. So it's not a great position for me. Definitely not a great position. You play this. Now if I take on f7, it uh, doesn't work. So I have to try something like bishop c4. I'm hitting your knight on d7. It's important I keeping in this, but I'm not doing well, actually. I'm not happy with my moves. Not at all. So you take, I take, well, I have some compensation. Obviously I do, but um, I'm not in a glorious position here. I have compensation, at least. Bishop c2, a uh, knight c2. So if I take, 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 you play this. All right. Nice. Um, yeah, not easy. Well, let's 
mm, take it, it's not great. And I'm slow, that's the problem, I'm very slow. So let's play bishop f2. I'm very, very slow, 25 seconds, I have to... I have to get into speed mode, e5, <clears throat> full speed mode. Not easy to be in full speed mode against a machine. Omkar, you're playing like a machine, that's fantastic. And I'm gonna have to be very, very quick. You're fast as a machine. Machine gun. Let's do it. 20, 17 seconds. I have to be very, very fast. I take. I can take. I will take. Oh, I have blundered something, but it's not a problem. I'm happy. Or well, let's say I hope I can be happy. Rookie 4. Taking. I have to pre-move. And then I have to pre-move Queen G2. If I exchange queens, I'm winning. Yes, I pre-move. If you check me on e3, I'll see what I do. I'll probably just move my king. Yep. So now I need b3. I need b3 and I'm just winning. Can I take here? Oh no, I could. Yes, I can, but maybe it's just a draw. No, I, I don't want to take. Yes, I want to take. I have to pre-move taking. I have to pre-move. This is all very fast. So this, this, this. King here. Queen here. I have to be very fast. What happened? Oh, I won on time. Well, this was not easy. This was not easy. I guess uh, I tricked you. You tricked me. I tricked you. And eventually I won. But it was, um, yeah, it was not so, not so good. I think I had a very good position. But then you countered with c5. And I don't think I reacted really well to that. c5 here was really good. Really a good move. Um, well, I, I didn't. I wanted first to play d5, but then you can take on on, d, on e4. I take that and um, let's say, and then you have this. That's something I didn't really like. And if I um, after knight takes e4, if I take on e6, all right, that's that's perhaps something quite good here, giving up the exchange and getting a very decent compensation, perhaps even more than compensation. So, um, yeah, c5, so I decided to play um, to play g5. Uh, what's the game? Uh, that would be the game, yeah. Oh, it's not recorded. Okay, g5, you decided to go away. Yeah, and here I missed your idea, bishop takes g5. A very nice trick, in fact. So that's why, that's why I played d5. You can't play it immediately because of d6. That's what I saw afterwards. So that's why you took here. But here it's probably already late. Or maybe I should have taken like this. <coughs> well, of course I can... Um, I'm not forced to make a draw here. I can perhaps play like this. And king, say, h2. And I have very decent... Uh, very decent pressure against f7. If you play like this, I have rook f5. It doesn't look too clear here to me. Looks very decent. But probably black's position is alright somehow. Um, maybe that would have been better. I took with a bishop, you took here. Somehow I should have enough comp. But um, I don't know. Queen g4, maybe I should have moved back the bishop immediately. Um, let's check your comments there on the chat. What a game, uh, well done, Omkar. Yeah, it was really good. Thank you. Yeah, thanks. Thanks to you for the game. And
And um, yeah, I can see I'm, I'm pretty slow, but um, yeah, the lag thing, of course, doesn't really affect that. But uh, here, actually, it was a very tricky position. Actually, I think even here, even though I have blundered a pawn, the position is very decent. My move is not so good. Queen g4, you should have gone back to, to e7, I think. Well, I can certainly take here, but um, oops, maybe not so clear. Maybe, maybe it's okay for me, actually. So he decided to go to f6, maybe good. I went here, perhaps to b3 would have been better. I went to c4, and here I think yeah, knight c2 wasn't bad. Yeah, it was it was pretty good. After th this would have been good too. Good too. Knight b6. Knight b6 would have been good too. You surprised me with this move. Um, yeah, if I take on d7, you take on e3. I have nothing on on f7. So yeah, that's why I played this. And you played, um, what did you play? Did you play knight d4? can't remember. I think you played knight d4. Maybe bishop d4 would have been good as well. Or did you play knight b6 here? Maybe you played knight b6 and I went... can't really remember. No, you didn't play knight b6, did you? can't remember. How did it go? Well, in any case, you got a good position. And um, yeah, in the end, in time trouble, I won. So let's. Um, you play knight d4, all right. <clears throat> I play d5. Can't even remember. I played e5, and you took it somehow. Well, my memory. Is a Swiss cheese. Can't even remember the games I've just played. This is pathetic. Knight d4. What did I play after knight d4? Maybe e5. You took it somehow. Well, in any case, I think what has good compensation here. So, anyone wants to challenge me? Here. Who else is there? Let's see how it is. Uh, play. Play a friend. Where are we? Game. Play. Custom challenge. No. Taraf Taraf was there. Champi is here again. So let's let's go for it again. Champi. Here we are. Let's go for another game with Champi. Champi the champion. Knight f3. Oh, yes. Knight f6. So we had an e4 game before. And now we'll try to go for a hedgehog, maybe. Let's see if we get a hedgehog. My favorite system. We have chances to get it. As soon as d4 comes, we have a hedgehog on the board. And I'm going to make some publicity, of course. I've just made a DVD on the hedgehog, well, not just because it's been out well, since September last year, uh, Chessbase has published my DVD on the hedgehog and it's, um, I like the work I've put into this, a, um, this DVD. By choosing this move over with a6 and d6, I kind of prevent the system with bishop g5 early on. So now I can play um, knight d7, I could have played bishop e7 as well immediately, but that's fine here. Let's see how we're gonna get it. e4, and now several moves for, for black, but generally b3 is played. Yeah, it's happened. Bishop e7. Bishop b2, that's the uh, classical system. Um, what we call the Ullmann, Wolfgang Ullmann line. He's gonna play queen e3, h3 is part of uh, the plan. And now um, let's play bishop f8 first. 
Rook c1, I can play queen c7. Some nuances in the opening which would take too much time explaining. Queen e3, rook a d8. I'm ready to drop back my queen to b8. In the right moment. Play g6 will be um, certainly on the menu as well. And this is actually the typical setup for black in the hedgehog. I've now reached my, you know, ideal setup, just play g6 and I'm ready. Everything is, is well placed. I lack space, this is true, but my position is solid. I hold all the squares here on the fifth rank with my pawns, just g5 uh, needs to be protected here. He wants to take d6, so I'm going to play knight c5 typically. Knight d4. All right, and now we're going to start shuffling pieces a little. Um, we're going to start shuffling a little, and I have to be careful. The only thing is the, the moves with... Uh, okay, I can, I can try rook c8 to start with. At some point I'm going to drop back the bishop and I need b5 ideas, but rook c8 is one of those typical waiting moves. So he goes for b4. Pawns never go back, as I tend to say. Now I play knight bd7 back and I'm hitting this pawn here. So let's see what happens after knight e5. Can he play c5? No, he can't. So we'll go for knight to e5. So I'm applying some sort of pressure now against this pawn on, uh, on c4. And he played b4 perhaps a bit hastily. But things are not too clear yet. But he already needs to take some desperate measures, uh, which could be um, c5 or b5. I don't know. I think black is better here. c5, I'm just going to take the pawn. Queen g5. Now let's see. I could... Now I have a nice trick in this position. I'm going to check if it works. I want to play h6. This is a typical way to trap the queen. h6, he takes my knight and I play bishop to um, e7. He has to, well, he has to give up the queen. He can go back to f4, I play bishop g5. This is a nice trick. I want to get this trick in. Um, can I do it in another way? I can take on c4 as well. Um, nice too. Here I'm going to get back the piece, certainly. Mm, not yet sure. Okay, let's play h6. It's too nice so that I don't play it. Let's play h6. I like this trick. Bishop e7. I hope I haven't blundered anything, but it looks like I'm winning the queen. Four two pieces. Yeah, he's taking it. Oh, sorry. So I have better time, a better position. Well, this I'm going to take twice, in fact. Knight b3, I have knight f3. I can take. So I can... Um, I can protect this. I think I'm just going to protect this. Knight a4. Let's take with check here. Let's move back. And here, if he takes on c5, I'm certainly going to give up some things um, not like this let's try let's try to play queen b1 let's try to play this this i blundered this but i can still take here check well, it was a nice hedgehog. The end was a bit shaky, perhaps, even though it was probably winning with black. Um, yeah, not... You know, this is quite typical what we like to do in the hedgehog here. We have the typical best possible setup with, with all the pieces. We need just a few moves like bishop a8, bishop... Well, I can't play bishop g7. I have to take, keep this under control. And... Um, Typically, white loses patience. Instead of shuffling pieces, perhaps knight d4, you know, could have been a better move. 
Um, bishop a3 is very decent. I play knight c5 and now knight d4 is okay. I could have played bishop a8 as well. Waiting, but I wanted to get out of the d5 somehow. That's why I played rook c8 and now b4. Probably a very hasty decision. Um, you know, black could have played a waiting move like king h2 or perhaps even go back, gone back with b2. It's very difficult for, for black to take direct measures. Uh, the black position is so resilient that um, even, you know, f4 is a typical move, but now I have e5. This is why I prepared everything with g6 as well, so that he can't come to f5 with the knight. <coughs> And then again, I'm going to take on a 4 I have pressure against a, the pawn on e4. So things are uh, look good here. But also b4, I simply go back and uh, then suddenly this pawn on, on c4 is hanging. I'm not sure maybe b4 would have been possible, uh, b5 would have been possible here. And right, well, if I take, you may have bishop here to f1. Although I can take on c3 and on e4, that's not good for you. Well, then it's really good. Um, and knight c6 is not going to work, is it? Well, probably not going to work. I take it. I take it. Okay, here you have e5. And this is already look looks already good for you. I have um, so knight c6. Yeah, b5 would have been the best. Knight c6. Okay, I should take take, and now I should play knight somewhere, uh, perhaps to c5. That's the best move. Uh, but it still looks somehow messy. I'm not too sure about this position. I. Okay, I'm threatening rook takes c3, maybe maybe I'm better, but maybe it's it's still messy. So, so you got, uh, yeah, I got lucky with my uh, head joke. Let's check if anyone else is uh, challenging me. Uh, open challenges, no, uh, I don't remember how to do it. Custom challenge, no. Is anyone challenging me? Don't hesitate to challenge me. I, I'll, otherwise, I can just uh, enter the poll and play against um, an opponent. Oh, Orlan again here. Let's go for it. So, what should I start with? Let's do. Let's do it with e4 or c4. I thought. You wanted, uh, yeah, e4. Let's go for e4. e5, knight f3. Let's see what happens now. And let's go for a Spanish, a Rui Lopez. And bishop a4. So knight f6, the usual move here. I'm gonna just castle main continuation as well. And here we are in the open Spanish. Knight takes e4, d4. So now the main line goes b5, bishop b3, d5, and we have um, yeah some classical games about this opening, which are uh, always worth watching. And there was also this was actually this open Spanish was the uh, main weapon of uh, Vichy and and uh, back in the 90s he's even played it in the match against Kasparov in um, 95, and Ka Kasparov came up with a fantastic opening novelty at some in some of the games I think it was somewhere after um, after the um, 
the well in the second half of the match. So what's happening? Why is, is he takes d4 not too good? Rook e1, rook e1 d5. I can't really see the drawback here. If I take on c6, you take back with the um, pawn. So I can't really see. So I just play rook e1, and we'll see. D5, knight takes d4. Korchnoi played it. Carp of Korchnoi. B5, can I? Oh, yeah, yeah, that's, that's a piece you're giving me. There is a intermediate check here on e4. Unfortunately, you miss this. Yeah, there were there were great games in this open Spanish. I also re recall a more recent game of Polgar against Mamedyarov, a young Mamedyarov, which Polgar won with a very nice opening preparation, nice sacrifices. So um, yeah, and Korchnoi of course played it a lot, a lot, a lot. Um, yeah. So it's been certainly in the focus of top players at the time. But here I, I want a piece. It's a pity for, uh, for black. Um, you've played a five again. You shouldn't touch that F pawn, you know. So I have no idea. I have reconnected for some reason. Sorry about it. I don't know what happens. It looks as if... Um, Something were really against me tonight. No idea what's happening with my connection. Yeah. Well, sorry about spoiling the fun with my connection. It's not really great. So, yeah. Maybe after this game, I'm going since just four people on the stream again, probably because my connection is very bad. I'm perhaps going to, going to enter the poll and just play a few Blitz games and then we'll uh, call it a day for tonight. Uh, sorry about by this terrible connection. Um, started already from, uh, yeah, from even before we had problems, so... Um, not the best day to play blitz, band blitz. So why why is this not working? Rook takes e7. Well, yes. Well, thank you for the games, uh, Nicholas. It's a pity it didn't uh, really work. I think I'm gonna play a few games in the in the poll. Perhaps because not many people are watching anymore. And um, let's see um, what's going to happen. Okay. 3 plus 2 maybe. Okay, I thought I had one here. Why does it tell me that I, that I can't... So let's check anyone who is there. Maybe something like this. I don't really know the site. So um, you cannot create more seeks while playing, but I'm not playing actually. So, um, so let's see what, what is this. I don't really know what I'm doing. I'm 
why can I not play um, here? Let's maybe see what's gonna. Here we are, maybe. Um, okay. So I'm trying to play again. Oh yes, now I'm entering the poll and I'm playing Alpasia 2009. All right. Let's go for it. E5, this is a Philidor. A Philidor which I liked to play as, as black as well for a time, for a while. <clears throat> so trying to remember what's the most dangerous here. H3, should I go back to um, F1, I think. Yeah, so he's playing the line I used to like. Um, how is it going already? Can't really remember. All right, all right, all right, all right, as they say. So my opponent is pretty fast. He's apparently from Turkey, according to the flag, and C5. So I'm going to jump to the right squares and see what happens next. I need to be careful. I know this opening is tricky and black often gets good counterplay. Let's drop back to um, f1 here. Let's see now if he plays check on c5. Can I play bishop e3? That's the move I'd like to do. I'm not sure it works. So he doesn't. Okay, so now I'm gonna jump to this square with my bishop. That's certainly the place I should be. And then Square d4 is clearly the critical square in these positions. It's a blockading square and I want to be able to control it. Now if I do it immediately, I have to stop d4. I have to stop d4 and I can do it immediately with this move. Now let's see if I could afford giving up the bishop, if it was any good or not. Maybe it was not. Great, we'll see. Knight d7, all right, can I take on d5? No, I can't. Maybe I can. I take, he takes, a, he plays bishop c5, can I give a check on f6? He has to um, move the king. It's an interesting sacrifice. Well, let's try it. I don't have too much time, so let's try it. Maybe it's not really good, we'll see. Knight f6, he has to move the king, I think. And now I ha and then I have an option. I can take the bishop, or I can simply play knight d4. Well, I'm not, well, maybe it's good. If he takes on f6, I have two options. Either I take on e6, alrighty. So if this, 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 then, uh, well, I'm gonna do that and we'll see. At least I have a lot of material here. If he takes with the queen, I'm gonna play for material. Maybe it was not a great decision, in fact. Yeah, that's actually what I uh, should be, should have been more careful about. Well, anyway, let's play this. He takes, I take. I have full compensation, but I wanted more in this. Now, queen, this is um, a good move. Yeah, I, I clearly missed it. I think I was winning somewhere. But uh, here I'm worse. So I should try to limit damage somehow. I have to 
find some way to control get control over the position this is okay this is okay very unhappy I think I was winning but um, it's not uh, it's not good what's this okay trying to get um, some control so what's the time it's bad and the position is bad too well I'm of course completely lost but I have some sort of hopes this all right some sort of hope very slim that I can well it's very slim it's too slim probably all right he's winning well done yeah I missed my chance I was doing well probably I was much better but okay let's try a rematch see if he wants to do it or not maybe not otherwise I'll just enter the poll here we are again d4 c4 okay king's indian let's see if i can crush the king's indian in this game against Goran Galiot from Serbia I think knight fd7 this is unusual I don't know what he wants so uh, we're going to figure this out he wants to play f5 very early of course I'm not gonna play I'm not gonna play d5 now that he doesn't force me um, well let's try bishop h4 why not Well, let's try this. We'll see. <clears throat> so now after, okay, h6. That's a bit strange, but it's probably not bad. And now I have. Okay, he plays this. So the question for me now is whether I accept to keep the position closed or not. And I think I want. I will want my nice knight to be on e4 or something else it should d3 so now if he plays bishop if he plays knight c5 i have options okay he goes for that he goes for that so let's try this yeah very nice but now i can exchange some knights somehow with this move knight g3 i want to exchange one knight and the other is going to come to e4 he doesn't want it but now i can exchange everything here on e4 and i will get my knight to e4 next step to get rid of this knight on f4 he is a disturbance i need to get rid of it um bishop e3 so he's gonna try and play bishop f8 this is very very i can't understand this move so let's play g3 i think maybe he wanted to play you know, maybe rook f8 or something. It's very difficult to understand. Now he puts his king on the same diagonal. It's tricky. I can I have tricks now with bishop takes g5 everywhere. I don't know. But maybe I'm just going going to reinforce my position. Bishop e7. Well, that was his idea. Okay, I see that. What's the time? Well, I'm very slow. I'm much too slow. This is my biggest problem in these games. 
I have to pay attention to time clearly. It cannot go on like this. I'm too slow. King g7, king g2. I need to play some solid moves and I'll need to find a good plan. So c5 is gonna come for sure. C4, c5. So this move I can't understand. Ah, he wants to play bishop knight to e7. Okay, he goes back. So now what can I do? I can play this. Maybe I want to get c6 in the position, it could be. He plays b6, alright. Let's take this. And let's occupy the open file. I think f3 is well protected, well enough. g4 is not really working. Doesn't really work. This move looks good for me. If he plays queen a4, I'm gonna think about what I can do. If he, Okay, this, I want to exchange queens. Let's pre-move, well that's, so he goes away. I insist, sorry to insist, and I can take, um, can I take a pawn? No, I can't. Well, this move is, doesn't scare me, so I exchange rooks, uh, queens, sorry. And now his pawn on d6 is going to be. So now I can take on d6. Well, he can play h3, that's true, that was his idea. Doesn't really matter. I, this, this, I um, have to be slightly careful. Let's play this. Rookie one. So what's the time? It's okay for me, the time is okay. And the position is okay too. How should, why should we complain? If he plays bishop e7, I want to play king g4. Right, and if I take this... Well, you want to trick me. Okay, I see. I see what's happening here. I see what's happening here, but you don't get what you want. If I take everything, it's not gonna be good. So let's just go back with my king. Could be a bit dangerous here. Let's move. What's my time? 18. So that's when it gets, gets tricky, usually. My time runs low. Here we go. I need to be fast. Oh, I'm faster than him. That's something very unusual. Well, that was a very unusual King's Indian by, by Black Knight FD7. Strange plan. So, sorry, I, I, it looks like I have uh, neglected the chat a little. Um, na, 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 na. I appreciate your work. US Championship is stealing spectators, I guess. Well, it's not too important. What if we all combined our strength? Someone play Yannick and we vote for moves. Well, we'd need a lot of time then. And with the, um, with the, ch with the lag, it's not an easy. Um, Ding Li Ren, yeah, he sometimes played h3, g4 in those King's Indians, it's true. So let's play one more game and see perhaps afterwards we can call it a day with this uh, band of blitz. So maybe one last, let's enter the poll and see what happens. And I'm playing against San Horeu from Brazil. What is good against Brazil, Caracan or French? Well, in football, I'd say French, but in chess, let's go for Caracan. C6, D5, oh ho. And now many, okay, he plays H4, I play H5, what else? Well, there are the moves, but Queen B6. <clears throat> Bishop d3, okay, he seems to know, he seems to know some openings. e6 and now c4, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, knight c3. So what's the trick here? Um, can't remember, can I take that or... I think it's after c4 that I take. So now the question, if I take, he goes with b1 and... Um, 
maybe not great. So I'm going to play c5 and see. Let's play c5 and see. I don't remember this move knight c3. So let's see what's happening. I'm spending too much time, you notice it, by some some miracle I don't lose my game some time. Perhaps thanks to my lag actually. Queen b5 check, so I can take it or I can um, leave it. But well, I'm gonna take it and play king d7. I had to prevent knight c7 and now I'm not really sure what he wants with the knight there. So my next moves are knight c6, perhaps knight f h6, knight f5. He's gonna play c3 maybe at some point. My position is very decent. I can play a6 next. Castle long. Okay, it seems I have to be careful. He might want to go c4 in some lines. So now I'll need to um, take some measures against that. Oh, he's coming to d6. That's a surprise. Um, well, I'll take it. I'll take it and I, I'm gonna think here. He might want to play some... Well, it looks like taking on d4 has to be done. And now it looks like I can win a pawn. And I'm gonna certainly go and try and win this pawn somehow. But f6 is tempting as well. Well, the main thing here is that I have to be very fast once again. Um, well, let's play it easy. Let's play the easy way. I'm not happy about my knight and my development. But let's do it the easy way. So he wants to check me, okay. Be my guest. You want to check me? I'm just gonna move away. Check, I move. So now I need my rook on c8. My time is almost okay again. Let's play b5. And I wanna get rook c4. I'm gonna do it. Oh, you wanted to take on on d5, yeah, I missed that trick, but my position is still quite decent, in fact. I blundered this cheap trick. Well done, boy. Now I even gave him another pawn, but it's not really a problem because I'm not losing a pawn if he takes on f6. So let's... Okay, he took b3 so what do i want i want to get to d5 so in general what should i do here i should move like here this pin is a bit unpleasant actually i think i should um unpin quite soon and that's why i play e5 i want to play king e6 and unpin my knight. Here we go. But I have a bad time here. He checks and then what? And then nothing. Okay, let's go for it. He checks, it's not the end of the world. There might be some repetition. Okay, I'm not gonna going to repeat here. If I go to f5, Okay, let's go to f5. Let's play like a man. Yeah, that's a good move. But you're not threatening to take. Well, you were kind of threatening to take, but... Okay, go back here. What's the time? Not a good... So he wants a draw. Let's see if I want to draw. Um, maybe I want to draw too, actually. Maybe I should I should play for a draw here. My time is just too low. But he might want to win. No, yeah, he wants to win. It's good. It's my chance. But I have to be very, very fast. Here. Here. 
Now let's let's play fast. Knight f5, knight f4 and go for it. Now I'm better. f5, king g3. Okay, doesn't matter. I take, I want to take this pawn. I'm going to win this pawn. Actually, this one is more important. So I'm going to take it. This, h4. Here. H Okay. Oh, I lost on time. I could have repeated moves and I lost on times. Well done, boy. You won a great game and I was much too slow. Much too slow. Anyway, uh, yeah, that's what happens. Rustiness. Okay, well, the game was not very good. He, uh, well, I won a pawn, he gave me a pawn, and I blundered it back. And, uh, well, in general, it's good to play half an hour, 45 minutes, and then uh, it's when the head starts going a bit slow and things like this. So, um, okay, I hope you enjoyed that um, banter blitz tonight. Um, so uh, thank you for watching and of course interacting in the chat. Um, sorry again for these connection problems. Um, well, I, I don't really know why it happens. It, usually we have a very good connection at home. I don't know what happens. Uh, it's not the first time actually it happens during a live stream and I can't imagine that the live stream takes too much, um, you know, of this um, thing there. So. Um, well, I'll uh, see you next week, indeed, we'll see you next week, and I um, hope to see you numerously again here, if you like, for those of you who are going to try and check the, um, uh, the video afterwards, uh, don't hesitate to like the video, subscribe to my channel if you uh, feel it's worth it, uh, I'm going to post more videos in the coming days, I've um, been pretty busy in the last few weeks, so I couldn't really follow up with everything, but Crowd of Kings Indian is coming and a few other things uh, as well. So uh, keep um, uh, keep posted, stay tuned. I'm gonna certainly do it. Um, Onkar has asked me if I know any good book that has analysis on advanced Karakan or the Karakan in general. Um, <laughs> well, Dreyf. Dreyf, of course, he's a, a great Karakan player and I think he's, made, he's written a book on it, if I'm not, not mistaken. Otherwise, um, Jovanka Hauska has also published a book about it. I mean, she plays the... I usually don't recommend a book by someone who doesn't play the opening himself or herself in, in the case of Jovanka. So she's played the Karakan and... Uh, she, she's done quite a good work on it. Um, well, the advanced Karokan is, in my opinion, uh, the main challenge against Karokan. It's, uh, and especially the line with knight f3 and move 4 and bishop e2, but those g4 things, h4, they are definitely challenging as well. So it's not very clear. Um, in order to learn a Karokan with black, um, yeah, there are a few good, mo good, good books, recent ones, and um, I... I couldn't really say that I have studied it by uh, with a book. I, I simply used chess base and uh, uh, basically by checking top players' games. What what's the trend? What do they play against this or that line? And just adding a, a few you know details, a few ideas here and there. Uh, so um, yeah, that's my way of um, doing or studying openings. But it's true that. Getting a book on the opening helps a lot as well. So um, especially uh, if you you know you need to get to know ideas, topics, um, main lines, and so on. They can help a lot. They can help you spare time a lot. So thank you, Nicholas. Thank you, Omkar, Christian, and everyone who is there. Noah seems to have gone already. So thank you also for uh, for the games, for playing against me, for making this uh, uh, a lively show and hope to see you next week, hopefully with a better connection. So thank you very much and goodbye, see you next week.